What's up my lovelies, Paramoto here. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to video every single day, June. 17, 18 out of 30 completed so far. So um, we're doing a fantastic. Welcome to Harley Friday. I think this is gonna be the thing that really survives this video every day, June. It's doing a video every single Friday on my Harley. Well, I know, to the to the sport bike loving crowd, I am sorry that a lot of these videos lately have been Harley. We're gonna get back to the Ducati soon. Um, and to those guys that love the Harley vlogs, you're welcome. My fuel light just came on, let's see where we're at. Not a lot of movement down there. It's always when I'm in a hurry. It's always when I'm in a hurry I'm out of gas. The problem is that I passed most of the gas stations already, so... Oh well, we're going into downtown Raleigh on fumes, I don't know. Yesterday's video, which is today, took so long to upload. Dude, like, so first of all, camera two failed. I don't know why camera two, like, the files got on the, on the camera, but then they wouldn't upload on a final cut. So, like, I had to, like, just not run a camera two on that video, which, I mean, I was running pretty, pretty behind on my upload. So, like, I kind of appreciated not having two cameras to edit. At the same point, I like the two camera angles. I like the dynamic of talking to the camera. It adds a lot of personality to the vlogs. I know you guys enjoy it too. It kind of sucks to not have it, but I'm hoping today that it'll work fine because I, I switched out the uh, SD cards. A lot of times with these GoPros, your problems are typically the SD cards. And like, I've had like a 128 gig SD card in my one cam for a long time and like a 64 in this one. So I'm like, why? I have a 128, a spare one. Why am I not just using that? Especially on like local, you know, vlogs and stuff. Like I'm gonna have exactly the amount of footage on this one as this camera. The thing I have found running GoPro is that there's always some little problem. I mean, it's always a little problem. It reminds me of like technology in the 2000s a lot of times where like it mostly works, but then it kind of does it at the same time. And I just missed the green light. I set my trip at zero last time I filled up and right now I'm at 75 miles so I think we're just gonna push it we're just gonna push it I've gone over 100 miles you know and uh, I've gone over 100 miles on tape before I don't think I don't think it's any big deal to get up to you know probably like 90 probably could be like 90 or so but man look how beautiful this day is blue skies man why everybody like waits forever to go so i know i mentioned that this video took forever to upload i don't know if you guys really understand what forever is oh my gosh oh my sorry. i edited it it was only one camera so it's, it didn't take me long at all to edit it you know so i just kind of went about my business and i started compressing it if you guys don't know what compressing is that's when you uh you know basically take the file and you compress it from like 30 gigs down to like three or four if you compress it before you upload onto youtube then YouTube doesn't do its own compression, which kills the quality of your video. Serious, I shoot in 4K, and it's hard to get 1080 with YouTube's compression. After compressing it, I started uploading it last night. It took two hours to get to like 9%. So bad internet connection, another freaking red light. Holy crap, oh my God, I'm about to lose my mind because I'm running late right now. It's just red light to red light, man. So I'm like, okay, it's a 20 minute video. A 20 minute video is gonna take a minute, right? Um, so I started uploading it today at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in the morning, started uploading. It didn't finish until 11. So you're talking about almost five hours. And like the internet in my house isn't the best, but it's not bad. Like, you know, you could, you know, all my stuff basically runs off of Wi-Fi. Like my PlayStation and holy crap, I thought that person was going to kill me. My PlayStation and everything has no problem online gaming and streaming with it so it's not bad internet you know I really don't know why it took so damn long I mean typically these videos are under 15 minutes but like it's like after like the 12 or 13 minute mark it takes forever to do anything and we're still breaking and we haven't gone off come on go dude it's like why is it that every time I'm running late this happens oh my god oh my god go faster than 30 Oh my gosh, 
guys. Everybody's going so slow. I really need to get in the garage and fix a couple things on this bike. I've uh, I've I've had grips and levers, you know, ready to go on for a long time now, and I just haven't had the time. I'm waiting for that rainy day to do it because I like to come out and make real videos when it's sunny and beautiful like it is right now. But I really need a rainy day to get in there and uh, you know do some wrenching. I I need to put these grips. This this grip on this side is is literally driving me insane. Like how it just spins. And like it's just it's driving me insane it actually it started happening when um the after the first service of the bike i don't know what they did but they they broke the glue that holds the grip on and keeps it from spinning but i mean honestly to give the dealership credit they should have used enough glue that, that it wouldn't break open so then this lever this lever is so floppy they adjusted the clutch lever and it's like it had like a half inch of like play in it before like you got to anywhere i'm like why 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 like why do you like your levers to feel like floppy appendages you know and we're going five under the speed limit again guys 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 learn to drive learn to freaking drive i'm gonna like have barely enough time to like get to the gym and like get changed and jump on the mat and we're all breaking a green light for some reason freaking hit by a city vehicle i've had like the worst luck lately i've been like almost hit every single time i've ridden i had somebody on the freeway yesterday literally start merging into my lane and i was rev bobbing the hell out of them and they just kept on merging kept on merging i ended up having to go into the next lane and then like i got next to him and i gave him like the wtf hand like what was that that's not called driving and uh he was just like, sorry, bro. And it's like, dude, yeah, you are sorry. You are a sorry individual. You are a sorry driver. I've really gotten better lately. Like, I've gotten so much better at just being like chill. Like, you know, people don't see you and a lot of times it's not malicious, but man, does it, it just, when you almost get hit by a car, man, your adrenaline just spikes and it's hard not to just react. Why are we stopped at a green light? What is everybody doing? All right, I need to calm myself before I start road rage and hardcore because this is ridiculous. Everybody's going five on there, stopping at green lights for some reason. I swear to God, if you don't turn, I'm gonna lose my mind. But let's say, like, you're stopping up to a green light. What is that? He just couldn't use his blinker, apparently. All right, guys, it has been real. Don't tread on me, America. I love it. Who's dressed up in like old stuff? That's awesome. Anyway guys, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Tune in for Everyday June! Oh my god, tune in for Everyday June. I'm busting my ass out here. Anyway, gents, I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces!